call for a rather large what kind of motorhome is that? Like a semi? Yeah. Like freight, a big old freight liner? Yeah. It's huge. It's it's pretty massive. Not sure how much it weighs, but it's tandem axle, dual wheel. Looks just like a big rig. So he's sunk down uh, in the sand a little bit. So we're gonna head out here see if we can get him out. We've got the Morbear. Me and Tom in it. Good Quick morning. Weather, weather report. 65 degrees, calm, beautiful morning. We got Hefe and Rhett back there in the banana. We have called in the big guns. We have Rory coming with Trail Mater and we've got Holly coming with Mischief Maker. We're gonna rig this up. It's gonna look like Santa and his reindeer. Like we're gonna, it's gonna be really great. So we're gonna see if we can pull this, this guy out. He's also hooked to a trailer and to give you an idea of how heavy this is gonna be, his trailer's empty and he says it's 12,000 pounds. So massive rig, massive trailer. This is probably thirty to 40,000 pounds. All combined? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's huge. This will be fun. Good morning. Gonna look like Santa Claus and his reindeer. Alright, these are supposed to be for the wrecker, but we're going to be using them today. Hey, it's Holly. Did you see Rory coming in? Is he on his way? He's supposed to be. This is uh, quite a setup. Yes. Holy moly. So here's the situation. Tell me. It's been Trail Hero all week feels like two weeks but it's only been part of one week part of one week and it was done last night and we were supposed to all sleep in this morning and i called holly and i'm like hey we got a job in the morning and she says okay yeah i mean why not you can sleep later on in life let's see where rory is hey man yo what's your 20. uh this is mike i haven't seen her yet and i just know for a fact we're like at least an hour behind oh all right, we're we're rigged up here, so. Um, yeah, if you can make it happen without us. Yeah, we'll I'm do that. So that's sorry. no, that's fine. Abort, um. abort, abort. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't blame him. Rory's been going nonstop. This would be like yeah. rescue number twelve for him really? in the last three days. So. Yeah, it's been a lot. Is this the customer? Yeah, he, he volunteered here. I've got a good, we got a good point. So we'll put this one right here at the end of this row. So what's the story? We were coming in here at the start of Trail Hero and uh, came through here. It was, it was already uh, taken up where we normally park. So uh, we came over here and I was looking around and it decided to bury itself. And we made camp right here. Been here all week and just figured we'd wait to leave before we dig it out. I felt it start digging. I was like, I'm done, we're here at camp. So here we are, waited for Matt to come save us. The way it sits when I got here was 67,850 pounds. I waited 10 minutes before. So the way we're setting this up, we're gonna, there's definitely gonna be like kinetic stretch here, but we wanna keep this tight the whole time. So the Jeep's gonna be going 80%. And this is gonna be going like 40%. So that this stays completely tight. If I overrun him, and it's gonna be a mess. You got got a it. I'm re re yeah, I gotta You're get it. You're 80. Don't let me forget my toe point. I've lost a couple things. Thanks, man. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. See what's happening here? You staggering these a little so they're all not all next to each other? Yeah, we're not spending a lot of time staggering them, but some. Okay, we need a driver's meeting here. We can't have any slack in the rope between the middle vehicle and the front vehicle. So you're going to be going faster than you think you should need oh, to go. Okay. And he's going to be controlling your speed. Okay. And then we're going to try to hit these ropes at the same time and then just go. I'm hoping that if we can get it up to here, like that guy's not sunk. So if we can get him up where we are, 
this is solid enough ground. Okay, yeah, and just start right curving. Make sure that yeah, I have no plenty of room. We'll get the, we're going to try to, like physics is going to try to put us together. Okay. So just give us plenty of room on that side. We'll see how this goes. So when you see us starting to move, I, I don't know how long this takes to spool up and go. Probably has quite a bit of lag, but we're just going to hold steady. It's not going to be super hard. We're going to watch you and get you in a good position before we stop. Okay, this is the whole train. We've got Holly, Banana, Grizzly, Corvair, Giant Motorhome, and then Enormous Trailer. If we end up having to go straight, we will, but we'll stop when he gets right here. Okay. So there may be some decisions we have to make like instantly. Okay. The biggest thing is to get him out of that hole and up here. You're not going to be taking off super fast. You're going to be letting her pull. And then, then when everything goes tight, then just lean into it a little bit. Okay, when I turn the headlights on, that's go. Okay. basically without me and Epe. Not right now. Avengers assemble. Thank you guys. There it is, right there. Right right on. Appreciate it. Those are some hefty ropes right there. Matt, I'm part of Mischief Maker. Did we break it again? No. Yeah. Or well, we did? Yeah. I just did my whole hand in here. No. Uh, that's twice. Matt. I thought they were going to make this stronger. They did make it stronger. Wow. Oh. All right, I owe Mischief Maker a bumper. <laughs> I know a guy that'll paint it, so I'll get you a bumper. So, this is the second time I've damaged Holly's bumper. The first time was on another massive vehicle that was up on the Tokerville Falls Road. So she got this new one, it has some more reinforcement, but Mischief Maker is just way too powerful. She needs a more dedicated recovery point. Here's what I'm gonna do, we're gonna buy your new bumper. Okay. It's the second one I've damaged. The first one I just walked away whistling. Yeah, it was just like, that wasn't me. I told you. I said, I watched the video. The I'm bumper. like, bumper. And he's like, no, no, show me the video. So we looked at the video. Me. It was definitely my yeah. fault. Two, two is a trend, Matt. <laughs> yeah, this is what I want to do. We're going to get the bumper before we get it painted. We're going to turn it into a recovery point. And then when we ask you for help, we'll quit ruining your bumper. Cool. High five. I'm, I'm all done for that. So this is a Hepta bumper. It's a super cool, very beefy bumper. It is. But it's not designed to pull out 67,000 pound motorhomes. No. So we'll just put a little, uh, some sort of a toe point. I don't even know. I'll think about it. It'll yeah. be super clean. We'll get flog involved, get some things cut. Amazing. So it looks amazing. Thank you. I feel terrible. Why? It's a second <laughs> bumper. <laughs> all <laughs> right. job. We got him out. That went really well. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go get breakfast. So we got a call. Actually, Hefe's the one that called us. But we found this gentleman stuck in the sand out here. It's the end of Trail Hero. We're gonna get him back out on the road. I was parked on some concrete and I thought, I got a Ram Rebel, I should be fine. Come to pull out, I was having trouble. I reversed and then I was in real big trouble. Now I'm stuck. Oh yeah, you're in here pretty good. Show the thing. Okay. 
like where your wheels are right now. See, go. Good. I can't even hear this thing, it's quiet. It's super quiet? Yeah. You have to watch the RPM to know how fast you're going. There's a truck pulling a trailer stuck right down there if you want to keep going. <laughs> There's a truck pulling a trailer stuck down there. We're going to keep going. This is going to go all night. Oh, we'll represent. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Where are we going, Happy? Straight down there. All right. See that truck with the trailer on? Way right down there? Yep. Oh, it's you're overheating here. Oh yeah. Got your AC on and everything. Yeah, you just got this good and hot. Okay, Rhett, your wheels are locked hard, hard left, and that we don't want that to happen. There's nothing you can do about it right now. We're just, I'm going to give you a little bump so you can get the wheels straight. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of a bump. His wheels are locked and he can't spin them. We're just going to do one bump so we can straighten them back out, and then we're going to just go up. So we got those recoveries done. We're up here getting the banana. We've been here at Trail Hero all weekend. It's been crazy. Um, we haven't filmed everything. We haven't filmed anything actually. <laughs> but here we are. Here's proof. We're tired. We've been hanging out here with Alan from Yankin Ropes and then our good friends from Red Dog Tools right here. Mike and Dave. They have gifted me a XJ personalized tool kit. Thank you for that. Yeah. We're gonna you bet. we're gonna open this up. We're gonna review it. I think this is cool. You should check these guys out. Where where can they find you? RedDogTools.com. Red, that's yeah. easy. RedDogTools.com. They have vehicle specific toolkits, so check it out. Everything you need, nothing you don't. I like that. I, I like to have almost everything I need. <laughs> that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. For the win on the sand drag. <laughs> that was a two-wheel drive sand drag.